Jones in the class. Building the heat. Watch the smoke as it starts to build out of the super farm. The 24 point buys are spinning. The John Deere out of Attica, Ohio. Ryan Ruffey. Oh, yeah. Mike Stimmel gets him right there at about that 200 and about 90 foot range, it looks like. See him. Yeah, that would be you. <laughs> I would just about venture a guess, ladies and gentlemen, with the large crowd that we've got here tonight, we're probably going to see a recent sled. That's not a sport campaign, but this year he's traveling on the Grand National level also. Still the heat. That's a little. The Buckeye Binder. Oh, yeah. Mike Stimmel topping that box out at about 225 to 30 foot. The Buckeye Binder, Jack Zaletto, the test puller out of the gate. And also custom farm, 500 acres of wheat and straw. And also he has an equipment dealership, Nathan Fry Farm Equipment. Till's Machine Shop in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, the sponsors for Nathan Fry's Albino Buck, the John Deere. Morning goes antique bullet. That's how we got one. Just simply watching. That's right. That's a fact. And I remember the first time that I went to one. And a guy's name that, that is a legend in truck and tractor pulling happened to be there. His name was E.J. Potter. With the upper, ugly and double ugly tractors. Never forget that. Once it's got you, it's got you. There's no doubt about it. As a matter of fact, uh, E.J. Potter's name will come up in the modified tractor division here tonight. So Bob Clamp Battle, Louisville, Ohio. Starting to build the heat. John Bowman, the kid or done. John Deere 4430. He got all he could get out of it. A little bit of slippage right there in the drive line at the end of the run, but a nice pass for the get or done. John His mom and dad, Butch and Darlene, are very active with the tractor. Butch is down here tonight with him. I didn't see Darlene, but I would imagine she's around also. The farmers by trade, about 1,800 acres of corn, beans, and wheat ground. Also do some trucking and custom combining. Ryan Selby, the never satisfied king. 
motor, the DV550 V8 by International. John pulling on the stage to resume national level of the competition. Gentlemen, they don't get any better in this next tractor coming up. Last year's grand national champion, the Zorn Brothers, the Snoopy 2, out of Derrida, New York. Rob Zorn doing the driving here tonight. Rob and his brother Tom both take turns campaigning this super stock or super farm tractor. The Snoopy 2, the Zorn Brothers. They're currently running, I believe, in the top five in the grand national level of competition right now. That uh, competition is heating up uh, rather quick. 2005 Knox County Fair for Henry, starting to build the heat. Bring in the air through the uh, single turbocharger set up in the super farm. Water will start to inject in. The 24 point lines are going to spin. And Henry Smith heading for 300 points. And that shredded tire bounce gets him again right there at about that 260 foot mark. The assorted nuts. So Travis Weisel built the heat, the irrational behavior, International 5250. And again, it's going to be right there in that 280 to 80 uh, two foot range. That tractor out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Travis Weisel. You know, just to give you a couple particulars here about the Super Farm Division, obviously I mentioned earlier on, weight 90.5. With the aggravator at 280.49. So they're all right there, neck and neck, real close. And that's what I was talking about. The nice thing with the laser major and being able to measure in the thousand. Association. He owns a mulch business by trade. They also farm 7,000 acres of ground in Colorado. Smith Brothers Incorporated, uh, Cyclone Machine out of Polk, Ohio, and Mac Trailer sponsoring Jeremy Smith and the High Club John Deere. Jeremy giving it a shot over there on the left hand side of center here tonight, trying to get some unproven ground. Trying to get out beyond 298, starting to build the heat, the International. Jack Delano built the heat. 298, 20, he's got to go. 